March right now, and um, it's actually time to start planting, uh, getting ready for the garden. So this year I'm going to be doing an above ground garden, um, as opposed to just digging up the, the soil. Um, so I'm going to be building a new uh, garden area, and I'll do that in a later video. Um, it's still early, so I haven't um, started that yet. But right now what we want to do is start getting our seeds in the soil. Um, over the next few weeks we're going to be planting different um, types of plants depending on uh, when we should start them. So this week uh, is going to be the first week and we're going to start off by planting some broccoli, some tomatoes, and some eggplant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start them in these here, these pods, and basically what you do is you get these pods here and you soak this with water and then they go from like that big to like that big. And once they're all soaked, uh, then you just put your seeds in there. Um, I have my grow lights here, um, and they, you can see they are adjustable, so as the plants get bigger, you can raise them up. So you want to keep them, you know, a couple inches away from the plants at all times, so they have the most light they need. So what we're going to do is we're going to soak this tray, um, so we can get these all puffed up, and then we'll get some seeds started. And then, like I say, as the weeks go on, I'm going to plant some other stuff. But right now, this is what we're going to start with. So it says put about an inch and a half of water in here. And I'm going to let these soak in all that water. And then once they get all puffed up, we'll put some seeds in there and we'll get things started here. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, this small tray here. I, you can see these are all soaked and uh, nice and wet now. So I have three different plants I'm going to do here, uh, tomatoes, eggplant, and broccoli. And I'm going to use four for one, four for another, four for another. So I'm going to put two in each. So let's get a few seeds here. All right, so I'm going to put one. them too deep, maybe like a quarter inch or so. To, um, my garden is going to be about 160 feet or so from my house, so I'm going to have to uh, dig a little trench and run uh, some piping with um, a garden hose so that I can water the plants. And I'll probably use my wheel horse tractor with my little plow attachment to dig the trench. Just to make life a little easier because I don't feel like digging. I've had some pretty good luck in the past with gardening. Uh, funny story though, a couple of years ago, I had some broccoli growing, and it was growing pretty nice. And one weekend, I went out to go pick some, and I said, oh, my wife beat me to it. So I went in the house, I said, oh, honey, where's all the, uh, the broccoli that you picked? And she's like, what are you talking about? I said, well, all the broccoli, it's gone. It's, he picked it. She's like, I didn't pick anything. And come to find out, we had a woodchuck in the yard, and he was helping himself, uh, and just totally demolished my um, broccoli. So I hope he enjoyed it, because I didn't get to. All right, so that's that. And let's give it a little bit more water here. Now, like I say, this light here is adjustable, so we're going to drop this down. And we want to keep this about an inch or two away from the plants. Put that down there. And this will give them plenty of light to get going. Okay, so next week 
I'm going to plant some more plants and we'll kind of keep an eye on these as they start sprouting. Let's stick this one back in here. Okay. Now these lights are pretty nice because they do have a timer on them. You can actually put them on for either 12 or 16 hours. I'm going to put that one on for 16. This other light I don't need on right now because there's nothing growing over there. Okay, and then we do have the cover, so once they start germinating and coming up a little bit, we'll put that cover on them. But we're going to leave that like that for now. We'll let it run for 16 hours a day. And uh, we'll just keep checking back with it and seeing how they're doing. And like I say, next week we'll go ahead and plant some other ones and get this garden going. Alright guys, um, I'll see you uh, in a week when we start putting the other ones in. Okay, so this is week two, and you can see we're starting to get some uh, broccoli plants coming up. Got a few. Another one over there. So uh, we're going to plant a few more seeds today. And what we're going to put is we've got some hot peppers, um, some green peppers, and pepperoncinis. So basically we're going to be putting peppers in um, this week. So um, I got some of the pods soaking right now and as soon as those are puffed up we're going to go ahead and uh, plant some more and give it another week and see what else sprouts up. Alright so now you can see we have a row of tomatoes, a row of eggplant, a row of broccoli which is sprouting which is nice. Uh, we have some uh, pepperoncinis, some uh, Carolina Reapers, green peppers, and cayenne red peppers. So we're going to give these uh, a week, see what happens, and uh, see what else sprouts up. So I did. So this is how the uh, the garden was delivered. It's all in boxes, all nice and neat. It's, they uh, put it on a pallet. The guy came with a truck, backed up, put it on a pallet jack, dropped it down, put it right in the garage for me. I was going to go and um, you know build it all from scratch, which I could easily, but then you know you get all the materials you got to haul and figure everything out which I had it figured out but I mean this is just so much easier you just unbox it put it together and you're done I didn't want to waste a ton of time trying to you know measure everything out and make sure everything was exact so uh, that's how it comes and uh, I'll show you where this is going to end up going So this is the garden area. Um, I have a greenhouse over here that we're going to be using uh, once the plants are getting ready to be put in the ground. Uh, we'll put them out here so they can get accustomed to the weather. So I've got a nice little workbench there and then I'll maybe set up some little tables that I can put all the, uh, the plants on. So we have that all set up. And we got a nice gap right there in the trees where we get a lot of sunshine. You can see the sun beating down over here. So that's probably where I'm going to end up putting the garden. It's going to be like over in this area here. Uh, it's pretty level. The land does slope a little bit as we head towards the woods. Uh, but it is level there, so uh, that's where it's going to end up going. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of trees, cut them down, and I'm going to make uh, basically a box. Um, that I'm going to fill with rock and then I'll put the um, the garden on top of that. That way it'll help level it and give it a little bit of drainage. Um, instead of using like railroad ties and stuff, I figure, hey, I got plenty of resources here. Let me just grab a couple of trees. I got a couple in the front over here that are um, kind of falling down from the, uh, the weather. So we'll use those and uh, we'll get that set up. I'll show you how we'll do that. And here's the ranger running great love it thing's been awesome doing all kinds of fun stuff with it and it's uh, great for working around the, the house and the garden and everything so uh, yeah love it all right so I got a couple of trees here uh, that have been knocked around by the wind um, you can see this one here it's on a pretty good angle 
and also I think maybe uh, this one here I'll take down um, so my plan is I'm going to cut them down and we'll wrap a chain around the uh, the trees and see if we can drag them out and drag them over to the uh, the garden where I can cut them up and lay out a framework all right so I'm going to be using my um, battery powered chainsaw I got this thing a little bit ago uh, it's a green works and it actually works really well it's quiet so I don't have to wake up the neighbors in the morning um, and it works good so um, there's actually a spot that I found that you can actually put this thing right here um, on the bed so we have these slots on both sides and they're actually already open so you can just slip it right down in there um, so that works rather nice and then what I did was I took the uh, the guard that came with this and I put it on the back side here so when you slip this in it slips into the guard so that it's not rubbing up against anything on there with the, the sharp blade um, so you get your battery pack here this is a uh, 4.0 amp hour G-Max 40 volt lithium uh, and this basically just pops in here and it's ready to go so uh, let's get over to the trees and get them things cut down okay so the way it works is you have a power button right here and then you just push in this little tab here good to go all right let's uh, let's get these trees down Alright, so we're just going to grab some chain and see if we can yank these guys out of here. Okay, so I got them pulled down. Uh, we're just going to trim off some of these branches. Okay, so we got the main branches off. I'm going to end up using my chipper, um, chip up all these uh, limbs and stuff and we'll use them for mulch. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get this thing out of here.
All right, so I laid down a log frame a little bit bigger than what the, uh, the garden's going to be. So uh, now that I have the, the border, we'll get some rocks and, and just fill it all in and then put the, uh, the raised bed garden together, sit it on top there and get things rolling. Okay, so I got the uh, I got the base down, and what I did was I took a bunch of uh, tree branches I had hanging around and just mulched them all up and uh, filled it up with some mulch, keep the weeds down. Gonna put some rock on top of there, some cardboard, and then we'll put the uh, uh, the raised beds on there. So I also got um, all the leaves blown out, cleaned up the yard a little bit, the, this area here. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at. All right guys, so um, you know, we're just waiting for uh, some more nice weather. Today was gorgeous, it was about 60 degrees. Um, finally get out in the yard and do some work, which is nice. And uh, got the plant started, got the base down for the uh, garden. We're going to get that built up pretty soon. And uh, keep you updated as the season goes on, how the vegetables are doing and any other projects we may have going on. Um, I think I may be doing a project on my truck uh, as far as putting um, a dual exhaust on it, so that should be coming up. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you like the video guys, uh, give a thumbs up, give a like, give a share, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.